and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Office of Tourism and Economic Development here on Maryland's coast. Today's show is going to feature Rena Thaler with the Art League of Ocean City, Jim Rapp, our favorite naturalist. He's going to be out and about showing us all the great outdoor activities in Worcester County, Jackie Miller with Secrets, and lots more to talk about and all the great things to do in Ocean City this summer. So please, please, please enjoy the show. Beach and Beyond, I'm Melanie Purcell with the Office of Tourism and Economic Development in Worcester County here on Maryland's coast and I have some very special guests with me today, Shatara Bridell as well as her mother Sharon Bridell Fowlis who is here to talk about a special event that's coming up for their 40th anniversary and talk a little bit about African American history here in northern Worcester County and how their family has made an impact here in the region. So why don't we go ahead and get started and talk about the event and then we'll talk about your family and your impact here in Worcester County. Okay, so back in 1978, um, my mom, along with a couple of my aunts, decided that they wanted to uh, continue the family legacy by hosting a family reunion once a year, which has always been Labor Day weekend. So we, con we have continued with that for 40 years. This marking our 40th year we held here in Brittletown, uh, September 3rd through the 5th, 2021. And I'd love to hear a little bit about your family's history and legacy. And I know we have this beautiful marker that was put up in 2018. And we're also going to be unveiling the, um, the sign down at Honeysuckle Lane, as well as here at the corner of Seahawk Lane. So uh, did you want to talk a little bit about your family's legacy and, and how the impact has been made here in Worcester County? Yes, well, I'm very proud of my family. Um, as you know, George and Martha Burdell are our pioneers of our family. And they began this whole neighborhood. They bought property here in, back in 1866. And that was the beginning of Brittletown. And so all this property out here has, was owned by my great, 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 great grandparents. And so they were the pioneers of developing, you know, part of Berlin. And that's so exciting because I think sometimes people don't realize, you know, you're, you're coming through 150 to Ocean City, but the rich history here in Worcester County is, is so deep. And it I is. had the opportunity to meet these fine people and really get to know them a little bit. And so we're really excited to celebrate your 40th anniversary in terms of your reunion that you're having right down the street here. And we're going to be here to celebrate um, with some of the representatives from Worcester County. And I'm looking forward to really promoting your marker here yes. and, right. and, and getting people out here to really learn a lot about your family's history. Yes. And I mean, what your fifth, fifth generation? I mean, it's, it's oh, your I'm fifth, you're fifth, she's sixth generation. generation. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, I really, you know, a lot of people that come here, it's like, you know, we're come here and from here. You are truly from here. Yeah, so. we are truly from here. I was yeah. actually born right here on Honeysuckle. Uh -huh. uh, most of us was born back there. That's truly where the historical area is. That area is indeed the first area where um, my ancestors first bought land. And the other contributions they made was the St. Paul United Methodist Church. They also started the first black cemetery here, which is Evergreen Cemetery uh, out on Assateague Road. Oh, Road. okay. Yes, yeah, so we, uh, my, uh, the Bridells have made a great contribution to this community. So my sister and I have started this um, Brittletown signage project. We just felt like Brittletown was getting away from us. And there was nothing here to really uh, mark what my ancestors and my great-great-grandfather had uh, and the contributions they had made to the community. So we decided to go to Snow Hill and um, uh, we got a proposal together to uh, advocate for some kind of mark in which this is what we came up with. Mm -hmm. And the tourism um, Department of Tourism, Worcester County has been phenomenal to the family. They have been very supportive 
and we really, really appreciate that. Yes. And we keep, we hope to move forward from here. And we're looking forward to really making this more of a um, of a point of interest, as we call it, in right. tourism. Right. So hopefully, putting up some kind of um, uh, you know a additional seating, uh, maybe some kind of a covering, maybe some additional signage. So this is really just the beginning to celebrate your family's heritage, right. and we're so excited to be a part of it. Thank and we you. appreciate you including us. So again, it's September third, yeah. three o'clock here in. Um, um, it's Flower Street, but it's actually Riddletown Road, which Riddletown Road, <laughs> Riddle <Town> Road <laughs> which I just found out yesterday it used to be Riddletown Road, and then all of a sudden they changed it on them. So we're bringing it back, and we're taking it back. So September yes, 3rd, yes. Uh, we hope to see you here and really get to enjoy uh, celebrating with this family and their rich heritage and their contributions to Worcester County and the African American heritage that we all want to celebrate. So yes. thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so Melanie. much. Thank you. Water damage can cause serious problems at your home or business. At Royal Plus, we have decades of experience serving commercial and residential properties. If your property has water damage, call Royal Plus at 866-404-7587. Fueled for fun, Grand Prix Amusements in West Ocean City, offering seven go-kart tracks. Plus, on our two family tracks, the passenger always rides free. Grand Prix also features Pro Track, Ocean City's only racing go-karts. Fun for the whole family, including our climbing wall, 90-foot fun slide, and Ocean City's only batting cages. Also, don't miss $5 Fridays. All go-kart tickets are only $5 each, every Friday, all season. Grand Prix Amusements, it's the place to race. Hi, welcome to the Ocean City Center for the Arts, the home of the Art League of Ocean City. My name is Rena Thaler and I'm the Executive Director here. And uh, today I'm joined by two special guests and we're going to tell you why art matters this month. This segment brought to you by Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. So, it's summertime in Ocean City and we have some special guests with me today. <laughs> uh, Megan Burak, our Social Media and Education Assistant, is here. And then we also are joined by Logan Dubell, who's our new publicity intern and very experienced with working with uh, broadcast journalism. So, Logan, tell us a little bit about yourself and ask away of what you'd like to know about the Art Center. Well, thank you very much for having me. It's been a great experience here at the Art League of Ocean City, what I like to call the hidden gem here in our resort. So it's a great place and everyone should make sure they make a stop here at the Art League during their vacation this summer. First, tell me a little bit about why you believe this is a must stop place in Ocean City. Well, there is nothing like this place anywhere. We're located on 94th Street for those people who don't know. We're open every day, seven days a week, year round. Um, of course, in the summertime, it's a great place to escape the heat, come in and enjoy the exhibits and the uh, air conditioned you know, comfort here. There's just a really nice aura about this space, and there's always something going on, whether it's interacting with the artists or taking a class. Lots to do here at the Art Center. Beautiful exhibits, too. So. And tell me a little bit about what people can see in all of our galleries this summer. Right, so we have a really special sculpture exhibit going on for the month, and uh, Bill Wolf, who's the sculpture professor, head of the sculpture department at Salisbury University, mm -hmm. is displaying his work, and the show is called Armed. And just really graceful, large-scale pieces of work that you don't normally get a chance to see and interact with. And I love this kind of three-dimensional work that you can walk around and see it from all angles. So it's really a, a must-see exhibit for people. And then we also have our juried artists uh, painting show, Beverly Basford, we call it. And uh, it's the best of um, original artwork for people to see. We have some great artists in the studios this month including Jonathan Nordstrom's with his books and illustrations. So really a lot of diverse exhibits for people to see. And the Art League also offers so many classes for people and a lot that are coming down on vacation might want to know what they could do with the Art League while they're here. So Megan, tell us a little bit about our classes. Absolutely. So whether you've never picked up a paintbrush before in your life or you're an advanced artist, we have some classes for you. Um, we offer online and in-person classes, um, painting, drawing, um, pottery, glass, and a bunch of kids classes as well. Um, so those are offered um, every month, every year, um, and you can find those at artleagueofoceancity.org. So then that's why art really matters this month and every month. Um, we hope that everybody comes up to visit us here on 94th Street. Let's get creative together, take a class, enjoy the exhibits, and 
Thank you to Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. This is Rick Meehan, Mayor of Ocean City. Our town is surrounded by natural beauty, and we'd like to keep it that way, but we need everyone to pitch in. As a beach community, protecting our surrounding marine life, coastal bays, and preventing any pollution is very important to all of us. When you visit the beach, please take everything you brought with you when you leave, or place your waste inside a trash receptacle. It's also important to keep our streets, sidewalks, parking lots, and storm drains free of litter because our land and ocean are all connected. Thank you for disposing of your trash properly to keep our town clean. And remember, we have a smoke-free beach and boardwalk. Visit OceanCity.Green to learn more about how you can help keep Ocean City litter-free. New name, new games. So many new ways to win now at Ocean Downs Casino. Play live table games like blackjack, roulette, and craps. Hit on 100 additional slots, plus thrill to the excitement of lots more new theme slot games. The new Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Please play responsibly. For help, visit mdgamblinghelp.org or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hey guys, it's Dorian and Wes and also Reed. <laughs> yeah, we're going to ride awesome rides. They're going to be super fun. Okay, we're going inside. It's going to be such a fun time. What I want is Splash Mountain. Yep, Splash the Pirate. We're at the Pirate Bucket. We're going to um, go under and the place and it's going to be super fun.
welcome to Secrets Jamaica USA, located on 49th Street in Ocean City, Maryland. Thank you so much for your support over the last year, and we are excited to welcome you back without restrictions and mask-free. We are open every day with live music, great food, and tropical cocktails. All our indoor and outdoor bars, stages, and the bay are open. Visit Secrets.com for our entertainment schedule, including our summer concert series with Ballyhoo and Bumpin' Uglies. Plan a visit to Secrets Distilling Company. Distillery tours are available every weekend. See how we make our spirits and learn about the Prohibition era with over a million dollars of antiques from the early 1900s. Tours are $15 and include three tastings of your choice. Make a reservation ahead at SecretsDistilling.com. And the Atlantic Beverage Center, located at 50th Street in Secrets Parking Lot, has all your needs covered for liquor, beer, and wine. Stop in from 2 to 5 and take 10% off everything in the store, including Secrets Ready to Drink Cocktails, Orange and Grapefruit Crushes, Bloody Marys, Electric Lemonades, and Big Bamboo. We hope to see you soon at Secrets, Secrets Distilling Company, and the ABC Store. Find us and get lost. Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome to Secrets Distillery at Secrets in Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, it's a little different type of tour that we're offering. Ten dollars, you get three shots of your favorite liquor that you've picked out here, one of our selections. And you get to walk into a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of the history of Prohibition and the years during Prohibition. Almost all the antiques, over a million dollars worth, have actually been collected by me personally. And uh, they consist of, well, why don't we come on in and I can show you just a little bit of what we have to offer. Now this is our lobby, of course. This is where you'd be waiting for your tour. In here, just a few things like an antique 1914 time recorder, which is the time clock as they call it today. From the doors to the windows to the different items of nostalgia from pre-December the 5th, 1933. I've accumulated them. So you not only get to see the distillery and the distilling process that we go through in order to make some of the best liquor in the world, but also get to look at all of the antiques that we're collecting on a daily basis from that era to give you something special, a special touch of prohibition and all that happened during that time period. So come on over, we'll get in the elevator, take you and start you on your tour, but not too much. You're gonna have to come in and actually do it yourself. Here we go. Atlantic Beverage Center, 50th Street, Bayside, and Ocean City offers the area's best selection of liquor, beer, and wine. Rare spirits, local craft beers, assorted wines, we've got you covered. Stop in for happy hour from 2 to 5 and receive 10% off everything in the store. Right now, get secrets ready to drink cocktails. Electric lemonade, orange crush, grapefruit crush, Bloody Mary, and big bamboo. All made with secret spirits, handcrafted, small batch, distilled liquors. Atlantic Beverage Center. Find what you thirst for at great prices. and win up to a cool 500 in free play instantly. <laughs> oh, shell yeah. Reel in big jackpots via shark at the tables. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Pocomoke City is Maryland's friendliest town on the eastern shore, home to multiple museums, a charming downtown. Scenic Riverfront Park and Nature Trail, Pocomoke is worth discovering. Come meet our town mascots, River Otters Mac and Tuck at the Delmarva Discovery Museum and enjoy other interactive exhibits while you're there. Catch a movie or live production at the historic Marva Theater. Dine at our waterfront restaurant with beautiful views of the scenic Pocomoke River. For more information and a calendar of events, visit downtownpocomoke.com and plan your visit today. 
So it is May in Worcester County, and today we are birding and exploring the landings from here at Public Landing uh, down to Scott's Landing. This part of the county is just loaded with natural areas, water, you can see Assateague across the bay. It's a great place to go look for wildlife, kayak, cycle. So join us this morning and we'll take a look at all the wonderful wildlife we're going to see. So one of the really cool birds we're seeing here at Public Landing uh, down on Chincoteague Bay are purple martins. Uh, the homeowner back here has got a purple martin house. And in coastal Worcester County, you'll see a lot of homeowners who I'm sure appreciate the birds, but also appreciate what they do. They're great mosquito killers. So if you put a purple martin house in your yard, they're going to eat a lot of those little buzzing insects that we're not so fond of in the summertime, but they're also really beautiful. It's a migratory bird that just comes up here to nest and raise young and then it leaves. So you have to be here in the spring and summer to enjoy purple martins along Maryland's coast. Sure. What a treat. Thank you for pointing that out. So already we're having so much fun. We're here still in public landing. The coolest thing is the local folks down here, very, very friendly and nice. We met a couple of lovely people today just walking by, letting us know where the birds are. So the bird we were just looking at is a nesting killdeer. Uh, it's a little plover or shorebird. And you might see these even in cities. They, they'll make a little scrape in the parking lot or the playground or the, the local park, right in the middle of everything. They tend to do that. And one of the local uh, people down here, Nelda, uh, may put little flags around the nest and is protecting it, letting people know not to drive over it. So you can see it's sitting just on eggs probably right now. Babies will hatch up very soon. And uh, it's breeding season. So it's wonderful to see all these birds right here in the middle of kind of the more developed area of public landing down on Chincoteague Bay. That sounds like babies. That bit of mewing over here is begging. That's Grackles saying, Mom, feed me, feed me, feed me. Guy, if he sits. What am I looking at? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What am I looking at? One of them broke uh, in. The bluebird. Is it the, in the white box? Yeah, it yeah, came out. It's on the fence. Oh, gross speaks right at the bottom bow of the branch. Yep. Yep. It might be in the yard over here. So this special place behind me is known as Figs Landing. Now it's a private property, so we're on the side of the road, but shallow water down here near Shingatee Bay, shallow freshwater, little ponds, are magnets for waterfowl, shorebirds, herons, and egrets. And even though it's kind of empty right now, except for a few mallards out there, in the few minutes we've been here, we've had black-bellied plovers fly over, uh, some other sandpiper-type birds. Um, we had one ruddy duck, that's kind of a winter duck we see down here that's still hanging out here, and a few other birds, ospreys coming around. But we uh, bird the landing, so we started a public landing, we're down at Figs, we're on our way to Scott's Landing, but it's just great to drive down here, or bike, or bring your kayak and explore this wonderful part of Worcester County along Chincoteague Bay. We are just having the most magical day birding the landings uh, down here in, along Chincoteague Bay in Worcester County. We are now near Scott's Landing at the home of our friends Christy and Freddie. So with me here is my new friend, uh, Susie Ball. Susie is the chair of the board for the Center for the Inland Bays in Delaware, one of our great partner organizations. And we are now appreciating the value of coastal ecosystems. Absolutely. And the birds that inhabit them. So Susie, if I could, well, first a quick story. So Susie also can will birds in. We're standing at Figs Landing. Yeah. And it's in the video. She said, I'd like to see a green heron. And it flew over her head and landed in the water. So are you having a good time today? I'm having a fantastic time. <laughs> what, tell us about some of your favorite things we've seen so far today. Well, there's a green heron. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the black-bellied plovers flying overhead. They were fantastic. Yeah. It is. It's been a lot of fun birding today with us. And so we're going to enjoy the scenery here from the upper deck at the home of Christy and Freddie with refreshments and everything. So we really encourage you folks. Everybody's not going to get a tour of the house when we come down. But to come down and explore these landings because it really is as close to wilderness you're going to get on Delmarva, but still feel you're close to the towns for lunch and a place to stay. But anyway, we're having a blast. Thanks for talking with us, Susan. Oh, my <laughs> pleasure. Thank you. What could be more fun than this? So in this little pond back here at Figs Landing, we just found two green herons and one of our, our friends today really wanted to see that bird. So she said it and it flew in. Uh, there's two. That is our smallest local heron, a uh, little groves of pine trees and trees near the coast, you'll find them. So they're probably nesting back in there like all the other birds here, but a real treat to have those green herons fly in. And then we got to watch it fishing. So we are wrapping up what's been an absolutely fantastic morning 
birding and exploring the landings from public landing to figs to scots we're here finishing up at our friend christy and freddie's house and uh we just encourage you to come down here explore this part of worcester county this is a little bit away from ocean city and the beaches but you'll find whether you bike kayak or bird watch real wild nature down here. We've had such a fantastic day. So we encourage you to come back, bring your binoculars, bring your bike or kayak, and explore Maryland's coast down here along Chincoteague Bay, and you'll have a fine time. Thanks. Located about five miles west of Snow Hill, Maryland, nestled in the Pocomo Forest is Furnace Town Historic Site. Whether you're a history buff, birder, or nature lover, there's something special waiting for you. Our collection of 19th century buildings are full of artifacts and local history. Oh, and by the way, Furnace Town is dog friendly. So bring your family, your fur babies, and a picnic, and enjoy an afternoon at Furnace Town Historic Site. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to tune in every Sunday at 10 a.m. on WMDT for Beach and Beyond to learn everything there is to do in Ocean City and Worcester County, especially this summer.